All right, we're talking now with Stanzin Zezdan, uh, the owner of La Piazzetta Restaurant in Le Ladakh, and nephew present. Uh, either one of you can answer any of these questions, by the way. <laughs> He's going to answer. Uh, how long have you been at the restaurant? How long have you had the restaurant? This is our fifth year. Since we've started this restaurant. So, he's doing good. He's my nephew. <laughs> and your fifth year running the restaurant, how many years have you had that oven back there? The oven is exactly like five years since we have started. It's been running so good. It's been like, what do you say? It's been a golden, golden thing that we have. Which we have. Best we are serving the pizza. So this is the fifth year of the Earth Oven. Yes. Um, if you can see, folks, it's over there in the background, in the distance. But we got more beautiful things to look at here, so we'll just stick around. Uh, in your estimate, in a in a good night, in a good uh, regular season night. Uh, of putting pizzas through your oven from your customer. What is the most pizza? Like, it's like our uh, best, like we have seen, it's 150 plus pizzas. <laughs> you, you've had over 150 pizzas yeah. in one day. Uh, in addition to the pizzas, do you put anything else through there? In addition to the pizza, we really like to prepare lasagnas and Mexican food like tacos that which we use. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe you, your nephew can answer this one. Yeah, he's going to answer. What what is uh what's the most popular single food in your restaurant right now? Like, Five years, it's like our pizzas are the best which we are selling out. Yeah. So that's your your most popular food is is the pizza. Yeah. And even the customers give us feedback. They like our pizza and want to come back to have our pizza. Yeah, and and and, and, and we s and we see the the customers are yeah. are all ages. Yeah. 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 But how many customers would you get in, in the course of a day, in the course of a good night, let's say? Like, we have the capacity of like 150 plus at a time. We can serve 150 people at a time. Yeah. And from the opening until the closing, how many people you think on a good night, on a regular season? Maximum, like, I guess it's like 500. Okay, let's talk about the technical details now of how to run this. When you first start up the oven in the mornings, what time do you start to, to warm the oven up? Starting, we start at 9, 9.30. 9, 9.30. 9, 9.30 is the time to heat it up, light it up. So we put plates of wood like this. Four or five pieces of this. Of Four or this five size. pieces about yeah. that size. This is especially the size of oven. Okay. Yeah. We'll put four or five pieces of this and then a few little pieces of cardboard that we use to lid it. So and four or five pieces of wood yeah. and just a few pieces of cardboard uh, to, yeah. to burn with that. Yeah. Okay. We're not using any fuel or anything. Okay. We're just, we're just going with organic burn. Yeah. Very good. All right. And then how long does it take for that uh, to heat up? After it starts burning, it will take half an hour hour to warm it properly. Okay. We will need certain temperature to prepare the pizza and all the food. Okay. So it's like half an, half an hour, maximum one hour, we need it like just, just just leaving fine. it okay yeah. so you're you're prepping it for half an hour to an hour to get that really golden temperature that yeah. you really need yeah. uh, because you're doing commercial you're doing like big time fire yeah. right understood so 
Now, in the course of a day, once you got it all fired up, how many of those pieces of wood do you need to, to, to burn it all day long? Until what time? Until 11. About 11. 11 at night. 11 at night. Yeah. So we're talking about 12 hours of hard burn. Yeah. Okay. How many, how many, how many wood? So it's not like we, we have to the morning, from morning to midday and midday to evening. And then you to late night, we have like two sessions, like four, to take it like four sessions, we put regularly wood inside this. And the like first wood is finished, we have to put four, five more. Again, we have to repeat it. I see. Two times, like four, see. five times. Uh -huh. Four or five times on the four or five blocks, we have to put it inside. Four or five sessions of yeah. putting in wood. Yeah. And then how many pieces all together is that? All together, take it 25. About 25 pieces. 25 pieces of this kind of wood right here. This, what we're describing here is 25 pieces of this, this, this size of wood for the maximum use that you'll, you'll probably ever get there at home or at your restaurant because this here is putting 70 to 100 pizzas yeah. through the oven every day, every is day. it? Okay, so this is going to be the maximum. So whatever people are doing at home privately, you're going to use a lot less wood here. But we're looking at uh, 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 maximum conditions here. So, okay, let's talk about uh, the kinds of pizzas and the kinds of foods that you're putting through. So you have uh, obviously pizza here. What? How many kinds of pizza do you put through? Pizzas we have depends upon customer size. We have we have kept two separate. Veg and non-veg. You have veg and non-veg? kinds of veg pizza and three, four kinds of non-veg pizza. Okay. And even rather than non-veg, we have chicken and mutton. Okay. So you have chicken and mutton. Yeah. Do you do tuna as well? And tuna. And tuna. Yeah. Okay. So uh, do you, you don't use, I noticed you don't use beef and you don't use no, pork. Why is that? pork are like in the dark, it's like Country separated region. So the maximum part is like Buddhist and population, half of the population is Muslims and Buddhists. Either one, Buddhists only eat beef and Muslims only eat pork. Okay. So here in Ladakh, you're not using, you're not using. You won't, you won't find it pork and beef. Okay. We are only like having chicken and mutton. Okay. So in the West, we're talking about the, the two probably most popular forms of meat uh, besides chicken. Okay. And you don't use them at all here, and you're doing a very thriving business even, regardless. Even then we have like good business. Very good business. Okay. Which, which, which sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's better for us. So what other kinds of food also are you putting in there? So if we pizza, we put like Mexican food, enchilada, and enchilada, we have veg and non and uh, lasagna, we have lasagna, veg and non -men. Okay. Like three, four kinds of dishes that we cook in this good fire food. Okay. Yeah. So in addition to pizza, we've got enchilada, we've got... Uh, Lasagna. Lasagna. Yeah. Why I can't remember this word. <laughs> so this is not, this is a multi-use oven. It's not only just pizza. Yeah, not only pizza, we do other different foods. Even you can bake potatoes and other vegetables inside this oven. Okay. Yeah. Now what I want to do is I'm going to swing the camera slowly over to your supply. Yeah. And because you at, are at maximum conditions, uh, this is like the most anybody would ever think to use for an oven, but I'm going to zoom in on that. Can you see this wood? Yeah. This is what they need for one season supply of cooking on the average 100 pizzas a day plus the other foods. 
they get one full truckload coming from Srinagar. This is something I am not personally very proud of having started here, this industry. But uh, this is one truckload of wood. So they pay for that. It comes over the Himalayas to Ladakh. And this is the supply that they need for this maximum condition pizza. Okay, so that's all very good info. Um, uh, I appreciate uh, your taking the time with us today. Uh, this, again, is a stands in Zezdan, owner of La Piazzetta restaurant in Leh Ladakh. So, we've got good information here. Hopefully that uh, everybody can use. I'll try not to shadow the oven there. Uh, so all of the considerations here, let's, let's recap. Uh, he's, uh, he's at the maximum conditions uh, that any, anybody may ever want to attempt to put through an oven in the course of one day. He's talking about 25 pieces of wood that are roughly foot and a half, two feet long. Uh, you saw the size of it that he puts through in the course of 12 hours. He, uh, he starts it up with about five of these pieces with a little bit of cardboard uh, to, to start it up, uh, it takes about half an hour to an hour for that process to get it up to maximum conditions. Now you at home, uh, just to just to temper this conversation, uh, if you're just cooking something, just a couple of pizzas for you and some loved ones, uh, you're not going to need, of course, all this uh, amount of volume. What I would recommend is you save your paper scraps overnight or, or uh, from your neighbors, wherever you can get it from, or any of these burnable uh, organics, uh, and go ahead and uh, it's a good good way to recycle. Go ahead and put them in the oven and uh, burn those. Get twigs, uh, branches, small bits of wood uh, to burn with it. And then when it comes time to put in your product, go ahead and put in your, your bigger burners, your bigger pieces of wood. And when those get good and fired up, you put your pizzas in and your or your food in immediately at that point. And then um, when those are done burning, you're pretty much done uh, cooking your food. The whole process for you, I think, in, in a, on a private or a small basis, might be an entire process of well, about one hour. But here, uh, it was good to have this information so we can look at uh, the extreme side of having one of these uh, clay ovens. And uh, that's it. Thanks for listening.